Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is In a Nutshell, and today we're going to be setting up a Sonic Wall for the first time. So let's go ahead and open our web browser, head over to mysonicwall.com, log into our Sonic Wall account, and head to the products page. Now we are ready to register our device, so let's go ahead, plug that in, plug in our PC to X0, and browse to 102.168.168.168. Go past the certificate error and log in using admin and password, all lowercase. We're not going to worry about the setup, guys, so we'll just click manually configure. On the dashboard, we will go ahead and copy the serial number, head back to mysonicwall.com, click on register products, and select a tenant and paste in the serial number of the device. Go back to the Sonic Wall and copy the authentication code. Go back to mysonicwall.com, paste in the authentication code, and give it a friendly name. Continue to choose management options and click done. Go ahead and find the license activation key from the email you should have received when you bought your license. Head over to the licenses tab on mysonicwall.com for this device and paste in your activation key and hit activate. Now you can either sign into mysonicwall.com directly on your firewall, or you can go to manual upgrade, add key set to your product, copy that code to the clipboard and go back to your firewall, head to device, licenses, exit out of the mysonicwall login, click manual in the top right and paste in that large code and hit apply. If your sonicwall wants to reboot, let it do so. Once it's rebooted, sign back in, verify everything is licensed, and then head to firmware and settings, Compare the current version with the one on mysonicwall.com under the firmware tab. If the firmware in the download available area is newer, go ahead and download it. Once it's downloaded, go back to your Sonicwall and click on Upload Firmware. Browse to the file you just downloaded. Click Upload, wait for that to happen. Once it's uploaded, click on the power button for the new version of firmware and boot it with the current configuration. This is going to take a few minutes and reboot the firewall. Go ahead and click OK and wait. Once you have your new firmware installed, go ahead and log back in. It's going to prompt you probably for a new admin password. Go ahead and put in your old one and create a new one. Now we can get down to the nitty gritty of the setup. Let's go ahead and start with the administration settings. Go to device administration. Change the firewall name to something a little bit more appropriate. Enter the domain name if you have one. Accept those changes and move on to the login multiple administrators tab. Change the logout admin after inactivity to something other than five minutes just to keep you from getting logged out all the time. Click accept. Head over to the management tab and change your HTTPS port from 443 to something not 443. You can also change HTTP port as well if you would like. Click accept to accept those changes and then change your URL to include your new port number. Log back into your SonicWall. Head back to your device tab. Go to firmware and settings. Go to the cloud backup tab and go and make sure you enable cloud backups. Now move on to the time tab. Select your actual time zone, not Pacific time. Unless of course you are located in that time zone. Accept those changes and move on to the security services, which is under the policy section and on the left, security services. Start with gateway antivirus, enable gateway antivirus and click accept. Move on to anti-spyware, enable anti-spyware, click accept. Prevent all high priority spyware and detect high, medium and low spyware, click accept. Move on to intrusion prevention. Again, enable IPS, click accept. Prevent all high priority and detect high, medium, and low, click accept. Head to GOIP filtering. Enable block connections to from countries in the countries tab, click accept. Now move to the countries tab. Add in all the countries that you would like to block connections from. Use the top 10 spam countries from spamhaas.org if you would like a starting point. Click accept once you are done. And also remember, don't block your own country or any country that may have services you want to access. For example, TeamViewer can be out of Germany, Microsoft can be out of the Netherlands, and Facebook could be out of Ireland. Move on to the botnet filter. All you gotta do is enable the block connection slider. Click accept and move down to content filter. Make sure that is enabled, it should be by default. But don't forget to go into the object section, profile objects and content filter. Click edit on your CFS default profile. Move to the Advanced tab and enable HTTPS content filtering. Most of the traffic on the internet is HTTPS. Just having HTTP content filtering does essentially nothing. Now head up to the Match Objects area, click on Zones, make any new zones that you want, such as Voice or Guest. Type in the name, select the security type, either allow or don't allow interface trust, and enable security services if you would like them. Click save and move on to the network configuration. So we're going to go to the network tab and interfaces. Right now our LAN still has its default address. Just click on edit for that. Change that to the LAN IP that you want and enable SSH if you desire. Also go ahead and put in your domain name if you have one and click OK. Your SonicWall will update its LAN address and you will have to re-browse to it. 
You may need to unplug and replug your cable or do an IP config release renew to get a new IP address. Updating your LAN IP address also updates the DHCP pool. Log back into your sonic wall. Go back to your network area. If your WAN connection needs a static IP address, go ahead and click edit on that and change it from DHCP to static. In this case, mine is DHCP. I'm going to leave it on that. If you have more than one WAN connection, head over to failover and load balancing groups and edit the default group and make sure both of your WAN interfaces are in the load balancing group. Now head on to DHCP server lease scopes. If you would like to, you can edit the default LAN scope. For me, I like to do 100 to 199 and put a lease time of 480. Go ahead and click OK. And that is how you baseline a sonic wall. As always, happy networking.